So you can see that this is a bit of a mess, like we've got wires everywhere, we've got components everywhere, and it's actually hard to tell what exactly is going on. And so when we're actually representing this in a scientific diagram, we don't draw it like this. Um, we draw it in a way that allows us to see more clearly what is going on. So we start with our power pack or what the um, or our battery, whatever is allowing us to have the current pushed around the circuit. And then our wires we represent with a straight line. So I've got a wire here that is going to our switch first. And I like to travel around my circuit the way that I've set it up. So I start from this first wire and that's taking me to a switch. Now, we always start with an open switch because that's how it is in the circuit. All right, this is now, so we've got our wire, our open switch. We've got another wire that is leading to an ammeter. Then we've got another ammeter that is going, uh, sorry, we've got another wire going from the ammeter to a light bulb. And then we've got another wire, we've got two directions here. We've got this wire that's going straight back to the power pack. So I'm gonna draw that in first. And then we've around our light switch, we've got a voltmeter. And the voltmeter is connected by these two wires. So I'm gonna do a wire around here to the voltmeter. And then back around like that. And so this just shows you how much clearer and easier it is to see what's actually going on in this circuit with a scientific diagram. Again, we use these different symbols to represent each component. So a straight line for the wires, an open switch like this, an ammeter is a circle with an A in it, our light bulbs are a circle with a cross through it, a voltmeter is a circle with a V in it, and our transformer or our power pack or battery, whatever it is we're using, we denote with these um, straight lines. So small, large is considered one cell. If it's two cells, um, then we do it like this. So a, one, a normal um, little battery would just be two of those lines like that. Okay. And hopefully that helps you to understand our electrical circuits a little bit better.